STS2 Connect can design clip angle connections bolted or welded, single or double angles, extended past bottom flange for heavy loads, plus a variety of others. Clip angle connections can be designed for flat or sloping beams, framing to vertical or sloping columns as well. There are several options within setup that will affect the outcome of clip angle connections. In options, users can choose which STS2 material file angle sizes are to be selected from when designing connections. In setup, the schedule of minimums will determine the minimum bolt diameter, rows of bolts, and top of steel the first hole distance to be used in clip angles as well as other connections. These options can have different settings based on the nominal depth of beam being connected. As an example of this, we'll take note and I'll go ahead and change the 18 inch beams to have four rows of bolts. We'll simply edit this connection on an 18 inch beam and make a simple change just to force it to be redesigned. Once this is done, I can see that number of bolts increases to 4 to meet the minimum required. Back in setup, in design criteria, we can see the default grade to be used for angle connections in the connection material specification section. In standard fabricator connections, you will find settings for whole center to center distances for three different gauges, wide, narrow, heavy gauge inside, and heavy gauge outside holes. Heavy gauge inside and heavy gauge outside holes can be set to the same value to accomplish a third single gauge if required. Vertical edge distance at ends sets the distance parallel with the length of the clip angle from the outside edge of the clip angle to the center of the nearest hole. Per AISC specifications, the minimum distance for this is one and a quarter inch. Exposed web at ends of welded clip angles and bolted clip angles sets the distance from the top or bottom of the clip angle to the cope on the supported beam. For welded angles, make certain a sufficient distance is used to allow the clip angle to be welded to the beam web. Use expanded vertical bolt spacing will attempt to expand the normal bolt spacing one and a half or two times if an axial load is applied to a beam. As an example, I can see I have a welded clip angle on the right side. If this is edited, we can see I have a tension load since I checked the option to use expanded vertical bolt spacing. It's redesigned with that expanded spacing. Again back in setup. The option to combine beam and vertical brace clip angles will cope the beam flange and extend the clip angles to connect the brace gusset plate in a beam column brace connection. Miscellaneous material angles is used as a list of standard angle sizes that SDS2 Connect attempts to use when designing angle beam seats, offset beam to beam connections, etc. To remove sizes from the list, select using standard window selection by holding Control or Shift for multiple sizes, then choose Remove Selected. Add will allow users to select angle sizes to be added to the list, again using standard window selection. 
Clip angle configurations have settings for the standard angle size, whether the long leg is on the supporting or supported member, hole types to be used in both legs, gauges, etc. Gauge on leg to supporting member is only available when slot holes are selected as the hole type in leg to supporting member. Otherwise, the gauge is based on the center to center hole distance and the web thickness of the supported beam. Begin staggered pattern at bolt diameter sets the minimum bolt diameter at which bolt patterns should be staggered. All settings you see are available and can be set differently for each bolt diameter of bolts seen in the tabs at the top of the window. So I have set the begin stagger pattern at bolt diameter to one inch as you saw and I will make a change to a connection and then we can see it's redesigned with non-staggered bolts. Back in the clip angle configurations, you can see that the single welded two supported member configuration has an additional field to determine if the hole location is measured from the center or face of the supported beam's web. When editing connections, connection specifications will contain different options to determine how clip angles are attached, gauge to be used, etc. Clip angle connections can be added to both sides, just the near or far side of a beam's web using the Add Clip Angles To option. Attachment method determines how the clip angles are to be attached in the shop to the supporting or supported member, whichever one is selected for the option Attach Clip Angles To. Create Web Doublers determines whether or not SDS2 Connect will design beam web doubler plates to meet loading conditions or compensate for copes in the material. If never is selected, Connection design will not generate beam web doublers, even if the connection should have failed due to block net shear. Replace doubler with larger clip will look in the angles list in setup for a suitable angle size to use instead of web doubler plates if they are required. Extend clip angles past flange determines whether or not SDS2 Connect will extend clip angle connections below the bottom flange of a beam if the shear load applied is sufficiently high. To do this, SDS2 Connect cuts the bottom flange flush with the web, extends the clip angles down, and attaches them to a web extension plate. If never is selected, the connection may fail if the shear load is sufficiently high. For options such as expand vertical bolt spacing, skew holes and angle, and combine clip angles, a setting of automatic means there is a setup option and SDS2 Connect will determine what to do based on what is chosen in setup. Yes or no can be selected to override setup on a case-by-case -case basis. The last option to look at is safety connection. There are several different configurations for a safety connection. To show an example, I'll edit the beam connection, choose create a safety connection, and we can see in this case the 
first configuration we get is going to be staggered. So we can see we have the clip angle staggered. One is higher than the other. Take a look at setup and in standard fabricator connections we can see we can change that option to vertically offset. I'll edit the connection to force it to be redesigned. And we can see we now have a offset safety connection. The last option we can choose to do is a clipped safety connection. What the clipped safety connection will do is it will actually clip one angle at the bottom so one angle is shorter than the other. Thank you for watching the STS2 clip angles tutorial.